Good evening. Queenslanders are being asked to accept more power blackouts under the state government's plan to slash soaring bills. So-called gold plating of the power grid could be scaled back, but the minister can't say how much residents will save. Ask anyone about their power bill. Oh, I think it's just ridiculous. And the answer's always similar. The working man doesn't seem to get a fair go. What we've done to date has failed. If we keep going, we'll keep filing. So the government wants more competition, abolishing the set power price, charging big business more, and merging Ergon and Energex, saving $582 million over seven years. One can only assume that this will mean job losses across the state. The consultation's got to take place. I'm not going to uh, even suggest um, uh, comments in relation to that issue. Unions claim it'll lead to more blackouts. Curiously, that's something the government says could be a positive. It says reliability standards are costing too much. If we can guarantee you power but for two hours per year and we can save you X on your bill, would you agree to that? But amid all these reports and figures, there is one number still missing. Just how much the price of electricity will actually come down. It would be remiss of me to try and say we're going to drop it down by a certain percentage because that is simply not sustainable as an answer particularly to a state so sick of seeing bills skyrocket. I just don't believe that the government's able to do that. It's just one of the expenses that's going to keep increasing. Hopefully not. Michael Best, Nine News.